How does the stock market actually work? If you've ever wondered what those ticker symbols and graphs are all about, you're in the right place. Let's break it down together. Welcome back to Empower and Thrive. Today, we're tackling a topic that might seem complex, but is actually super fascinating once you get the hang of it. How does the stock market actually work? All right, so what exactly is the stock market? Think of it as a big marketplace where people buy and sell pieces of companies called stocks or shares. When you own a stock, you're essentially owning a small part of that company. And just like in any marketplace, the prices of these stocks can go up and down based on supply and demand. Let's cover some basic terms that you'll often hear. First, stock. This is your piece of ownership in a company. The more stocks you have, the more ownership you have. Second, stock exchange. This is the platform where stocks are bought and sold. Think of it like a giant virtual market. The most famous ones are the New York Stock Exchange and the NASDAQ. Third, bull market versus bear market. A bull market means stocks are rising and everyone's feeling optimistic. A bear market means stocks are falling and there's a lot of pessimism. Fourth, dividends. These are payments made by a company to its shareholders, usually from profits. Not all companies pay dividends, but it's a nice bonus if they do. Let's also talk about ETFs, exchange traded funds. ETFs are a bit different from individual stocks. While a stock represents ownership in a single company, an ETF is like a basket that holds many stocks, bonds, or other assets. This means when you buy an ETF, you're investing in a diversified portfolio. ETFs are traded on stock exchanges, just like individual stocks, making them easy to buy and sell, but they offer the advantage of diversification with a single transaction. Now, what about mutual funds? Mutual funds are similar to ETFs in that they also represent a diversified portfolio of assets. However, mutual funds are not traded on stock exchanges. Instead, they are bought and sold directly through the fund company at the end of the trading day, based on the fund's net asset value, NAV. This means you can't buy or sell mutual funds throughout the day like you can with stocks and ETFs. So, what goes on behind the scenes? When you buy or sell a stock, ETF, or mutual fund, there are brokers and traders who help make that transaction happen. Brokers are like the middlemen between you and the stock exchange. Traders, on the other hand, are the people who are constantly buying and selling stocks to make profits. But there's more. Behind every stock price, there are countless analysts studying companies, markets, and economies to predict where prices might go. It's like a giant puzzle with many pieces moving all the time. Ever wonder why stock prices fluctuate so much? It's all about supply and demand. If a company announces great news, like a big profit or a new product, more people want to buy its stock, driving up the price. Conversely, if there's bad news, people might sell, causing the price to drop. Believe it or not, emotions play a huge role in the stock market. Fear and greed can drive people to make quick decisions that impact stock prices. That's why it's important to stay informed and make rational decisions. If you're thinking about getting started with investing in the stock market, here are a few tips. First, do your research. Understand the companies you're investing in. Second, diversify. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spread out your investments. Third, think long-term. The stock market can be volatile in the short term, but tends to grow over the long term. And there you have it, a quick dive into how the stock market works. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our financial insights. Remember, understanding the stock market can empower you to make smarter financial decisions. Keep thriving, and I'll see you in the next video.